and we start. Now, I have some a set of questions because we have learnt about what is a vertical plane, a horizontal plane, you know, and what is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, all this. Okay. Now, these four questions are there. This is in different uh, you know setup. Before that, I have just draw a, a small sketch it's for your reference. See, this is, this shows a different quadrant level, first, second, third, fourth, including your horizontal plane and vertical plane. Now, which is your vertical plane here? This becomes your vertical plane. Okay, which is a horizontal plane? This is your horizontal plane. I'll write HP. I'm just writing in inclined position, but this is your horizontal plane. Actually, to speak, this vertical plane and this is in this side and other plane. So this uh, vertical plane is still end and other middle like this. Originally, I can say this has been rotated, this and this has been rotated like this. Because what I mean, we say, I was, I was explaining about your just hand, your hand alone you can just view it. This is horizontal and I mean vertical and horizontal plane. If this has been 90 degree tilted down and becomes like a paper. Is that okay? So this is the idea. Now, whatever I see from the front side, it become my front view. I will write this is front. Okay? And whatever I see from the top becomes my top view. Top view. Okay? It's top view, front and top views. And now, any point I told you, you will have to think in which quadrant it is based on its placement. And we have to draw it in where in a sheet. How do we draw this line? See, I told you this line is your x y line. Actually, to speak. You cannot draw in a drawing sheet in this fashion. This is for an explanation to make you understand that how does a vertical plane and a horizontal plane look like. Okay. Now when you this you tilt it, it becomes like this. Or you can like this. Either way you can make it. Okay. Now you just uh, understand I am drawing an XY line. Basically, an XY line. I will write my vertical plane here, northern plane here. Okay. Now, on these, uh, you know, four set of uh, different questions, I will tell you. It just denotes a point P, 35 millimeter. This B means behind. So, I will be writing abbreviation B means behind. And if it is below, I will write it as below. Can you understand? Below. Right? And above I wrote A. It's simple. You can understand that. It's common uh, idea. So, point P, 35 millimeter below, I am sorry, behind VP and 20 millimeter below HP. Where is my quadrant now? First, second, third, fourth. You have to think. So, it is 20, 35 millimeter behind VP. This is VP. I am going behind. Behind VP, it is somewhere... Uh, value of 35 millimeter. How do you see you look at? How do you see? VP is always like this. This is VP. It is behind VP. How much millimeter? 35 millimeter. That means, just kind of imagine I have a point. This top is a point. That back side here. This distance of 35 millimeter behind, from which view you can see? Is it through front view? No. Because in front view, it appears as a point directly on VP like this. Right? Just like a point. Only this is my x, y axis. x and y line is this common line. Reference line. It's called reference line. So, this height, it is only specified as above. Above HP only this height. But this is 35 millimeter behind VP. So, this 35 millimeter is this distance from VP backside. This can be seen only through top view. Is it clear? From top view only you can see 35 millimeter behind VP. So, where will I draw it? Anything I see in the top, I will draw it in the bottom. 
and I told basics. So, I have to draw it here. It is point P. Understand, please? I am writing this point P. This point P is 35 millimeter behind VP. Understand? This VP behind. Because this 35 millimeter distance can be only seen through top view, and top view, whatever you see, you draw it in the bottom. Because you cannot draw it here. That was basic we learned. So, I am drawing it, indicate this as 35 millimeter. Thirty-five mm. Is it okay? Now it is behind thirty-five millimeter VP and twenty millimeter below HP. Again, see, this is HP line below. Actually, paper is like this, right? I told you, below HP is twenty. How will you see? This is in the front. You can see the something below HP. You can see it here, twenty-five millimeter. How will I draw it here now? Whatever I see, this is point P, twenty-five millimeter. How will I draw? Thirty-five is this. 25 mm below. 25 is this. This 25. This becomes like this. See the placement of point is very very important because 35 mm below actually behind it is, but You should imagine this is VP. Behind means from the top only you can see the distance. I can say it will be somewhere here. See, this is behind. So in this diagram, it shows what is this point? Actually, P. This P is here behind. So in the top view only I can see this difference, but it can be drawn only in the where bottom. That is bottom view. This place. Whatever I see in the top, I'll do it on the bottom. Actually, to speak, where it is drawn in the HP only, because see, this becomes more than one plane. This is also actually HP. This is also VP. This, right? Now I have drawn it here, and 25 millimeter actually below HP. Actually, it is below HP down. In the front view only, you can see that distance here shows it. Now, I'll. Ask you one question. See, this is VP. The place becomes VP. HP is like this. It is 25 millimeter below HP is the question. So, below HP can show it here, but actually to speak, 25 millimeter below HP where it has come in this fashion. It is actually to speak, it is coming down. In below HP, it comes here. Somewhere here, a point. This distance is like this. Okay. Now imagine, this is 25 millimeter at this distance and 35 millimeter at this distance. Fine. Now I was uh, teaching about this point. What I have done? Point 35, main point P, which is 35 millimeter behind vp i said i'll write b only for behind the notion notion and uh, 20 mm below hp the question is two different ways i just indicated okay this is 20 ah, yeah this to be 20 20 mm now the problem arises because i have written this is uh, vp and this is hp but kindly understand i was talking about the four four quadrant you remember What will happen? First quadrant is like this. Now I'll I'll show a small line, like this zero, ninety. Hope you remember this, and two seventy. Yeah, your first quadrant is like this. At this stage, your VP is this, HP is this. Correct? This is. No, this you comes in this side, opposite side. You cannot view it with this sketch. It's a different sketch. But first quadrant is like this. I am sorry. First quadrant is like this. This is correct, you know. It is VP and HP. It comes like this. Second quadrant it goes like this. Here it becomes HP here, VP here. But when it comes for third quadrant, that is like this. Your VP is here and HP is here. Kindly understand. We are speaking about in front of VP first quadrant. And above HP first quadrant. This side behind 
VP above HP again. Okay. Third quadrant, what is that? It is below HP and again behind VP. I let B VP. And fourth quadrant, in front of VP, below, only I am writing below HP. Now what is this category actually? 35 millimeter behind VP. That is behind VP, you can think, and below HP. Behind VP, behind VP, here also is behind VP, and below HP, it comes in third quadrant. At this stage, your position is like this. So, horizontal plane is like here, and vertical plane here. Where actually horizontal plane now? It goes here. So, what it says? 35 millimeter behind VP. Back side to VP, it is here. So, I from the top view I see this 35 millimeter is written. I am drawing it in a this horizontal plane. So, 35 millimeter here. Okay? And 20 millimeter below HP. That is below HP? This below HP is here and 20 went down. So, this 20 millimeter from where I am seeing, I have to see from both the views, this. So, what I will do, this I will not write here VP and HP further. Just for only the points. Because for the points, it may be a combination of VP, HP, HP anywhere. Because this place itself, it is like this. Okay? Now, my horizontal plane is like this. Or I can be tilted with 90 degree to VP. Do VP here. Now, this is HP. Now, 35 millimeter behind, I mean, behind VP is, 35 millimeter behind VP, it is here. This is shown where, actually to speak, this 35 millimeter is a point which will come here. Okay? this becomes your 35 millimeter right and 20 millimeter below HP see I have written this fashion first to make you understand 35 millimeter what is this this is behind VP back side to VP is 35 millimeter I have drawn it down now see the difference between, I have taken this notation of VP and HP out because in all the four quadrants, VP and B and HP are not remaining same. Is it okay? Because first quadrant is like this, this one, this quadrant. Second becomes this and third will be down. All keep on changing. So I can say this point only by understanding the quadrant level, 35 millimeter, what is this? Behind VP, behind VP is here, and 20 millimeter below HP, quadrant number 3, third quadrant. In third quadrant, this point is lying, it would look only like this. The, it is 35 millimeter, this point P dash, sorry. Right, P here, and P dash here. Just this, this, no, this dash denotes only the difference between two points. It's P and P dash. That's all. Nothing else. So, 35 millimeter behind VP is shown here. And below HP is 20 millimeter below HP. That's all. Because this line is a combination of both HP and VP. This one. That's it. So, point is somewhere here for below 20. And 35 millimeter is this. So, this I will show... This is my 35. It will be better understanding for you if you understand this sketch. Because this cannot draw it here. Because this is a paper. Your drawing sheet is a paper like this. In combination of just VP and HP. And 20 millimeters is this height actually. Clear? Now, this is about first point. I will take this first. This is 2 and 3 and 4. 
Okay? Now first is over. Now for the second, and second I'll draw it in between this gap. How point Q is 40 millimeter in front of VP and 30 millimeter above HP. Where it lies? See, in front of VP is again first quadrant and above HP is again first quadrant because point is only one, indication is both. It is either in front and above its first quadrant. It is fine. Now, how will it draw? Q 40 millimeter in front of VP. 40 millimeter in front of VP is somewhere here because this point is 40 millimeter and 30 millimeter above HP. This 30 millimeter is the top, okay, which was above HP because HP is here and above, somewhere this point, I know, I will draw it here, somewhere this line. Because R I will draw in simple, this should be actually here, this is the length, point Q. This height is how much? It is 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter above HP and 40 millimeter in front of VP. From VP, 40 millimeter somewhere here, this point, this distance, 40 millimeter. Where it lies actually, it lies here. So, this distance is 40. It's 40 millimeter. That's, I'll, 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 I'll erase this millimeter, only I'll just read the number, 40 millimeter. So, this 40 millimeter from the top you are seeing, you are drawing it in down. So, this is 40 millimeter. That's it. So, this is how you go about every question, like this, plenty of questions. And kindly remember, projection of points is the first topic in unit number 2, as I told you before. Second topic will be projection of lines and third will be projection of planes. For everything, the basics is your vertical plane and horizontal plane, where to place in based on what quadrant. So, if you understand the points, you know, placement of point in quadrant number 1, number 2, number 3 and 4, you can answer any question of the point. That's how you go about it. So, it, it is like this, the any questions given, if you know exactly you by practice, two or three problems or number of problems as you are interested, you can exactly, by reading the question you understand, first quadrant, second, third or fourth. That's it. You can finish it totally. Okay? That will be fine. So, you practice number of questions like this and kindly remember, this sketch is very important to, you know, in generally understand what is VP, what is HP. But please don't draw this in the examination or in the tests. This is not required because we are talking about only two-dimensional view. We have only X and Y. That is very, very important. This is for your understanding. For I can understand. Okay? Fine.